Hi, and welcome to my Canva playbook. So today I'm going to walk you through how to create a template of your own. This will be raw footage, unedited. Um, I'm, I will be doing this live with you. So if you find that you have any questions, feel free to always send me a message on Etsy, or you can email me at prosperity.printshop11 at gmail.com. Okay, so I'm going to recreate one of my um, top selling flyers here on Etsy. So the first thing I want to do is I want to go over to the elements tab. I want to look for frame. Here you have all these different frames you can choose from, but I'm going to choose this square right here. I'm going to angle it a little bit. Open it up just a little bit. And so here you can do a quick Google search and say, I want to add glitter. Let's add pink glitter. I'm going to go to images. I'm going to download the first image that I see. Let's go ahead and save that. I'm going to open this back up over here. Then I'm going to upload my image that I just downloaded off of Google. I'm going to drag that and drop it into the frame right here. Because it's a little bit blurry, I'm probably going to shrink it just a little bit, but it gets the job done. The next thing I want to do is go back to frames. Then I want to keep scrolling. Say I want to add a phone. Let's do a phone right here. Then I want to add another one just for some depth. And then you can add whatever photos that you want. I'm going to go ahead and upload some stock images that I previously downloaded. And then again, you just want to drag it over and drop it. So the next thing that I'm going to do is go ahead and on my keyboard, I'm going to click the letter T or you can go over here to the left and click text and you can add your text. So I want to put holiday sale. And some of my favorite font, let's make this a little bit bigger so we can see it. And so some of the font that I um, use in a lot of my templates that I sell on Etsy um, is called, let me see, let me find it. Okay, here we go. The font that I use is Amsterdam 4. That's typically the font I like. Let's make it a little bigger. And I want to drag the text over the image. And don't worry, I know we can't see it. I'll probably make it a little bit smaller. I know we can't see it, but we're going to change the font. So then I want to go ahead and Canva does this really cool thing where it kind of pairs up um, similar colors to the pictures that you have. So let's choose this one. It's still a little thin. Something that I like to add is I go over, I click on text, then I click on the effect button, then I click neon. And I like the way that's looking. So let's shrink it just a little bit. And you can play around with the sizes. All right, so now that we have our header, let's go and add some more elements. So over here on the left, you have all these different options. You wanna click on elements. And I want to look for a search bar. So I typed in search box. And I do wanna mention that Canva has free like elements and fonts and things that you can use. And then they also have the pro. So this one right here is free, but if you click on this one with the little crown, you will have to pay for that. Um, so I suggest you just use what's free. That's the easiest. So let's click on this. Well, I don't really like that one. Let's do this one. This one is free as well. And let's do that. Let's put it right there in the middle. I'm going to go ahead and change the color. Then I am going to go back in and click the T button on my keyboard, which automatically pops up the text box and type in my website. And then for that, I like to also use the font um, Bebus Nua, <laughs> if I'm pronouncing that right. Let's make it a little bit smaller. And let's zoom in. So you can kind of zoom in, toggle in between it and zoom in and out right here. So let's zoom in and then fit the text right there. 
All right, zoom back out. And then from here, you can kind of just get creative and do whatever you want. Um, so I'm going to add, let's change the font. I'm going to put use code holiday. Then I'll kind of shrink it a little bit. And I let's say I want to make this a different color. Then if I want to add my Instagram, I just go over here back to the elements tab, type in Instagram. And then again, you have all these elements that you can use. So let's use this one. Change the color. Hit that T button on your keyboard again, and then you can type in your Instagram. And again, I like to change the font. and pop that right there. Now say if I wanna add an extra layer to it, right? For me, I like to add different things like um, transparent images or cutout images that I can slap on over here on the right-hand side. So I'm gonna quickly show you how to do that as a bonus tip. So you wanna go back to your uploaded photos. Let's click on the photo that we chose. Then right here, we're gonna click edit image. Then we're gonna do the background remover. I believe the background remover is free for everybody that uses Canva. And it takes a minute, but just let it do let it do its thing. We're going to click apply. Then what I'm going to do is enlarge in this image. I'm going to push it all the way to the back. And so I'm going to click position, send it to the back, and you see how it's now behind everything. Then I'm going to turn down the transparency just a little bit. And there you go. That's how I create my templates in Canva and it's really easy. If you have any other questions or if you wanna learn out more, I have another course here on my Etsy shop that you can purchase for further in-depth details, but thank you so much and I hope this was helpful.